culmination of the Holy Gospel according to St. John in the first chapter, beginning from the 29th verse. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said after me, Come the man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore, Am I come baptizing with water? And John bar record saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him. The same is he which baptizeth with the Holy Ghost. And I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. Again the next day after John stood and two of his disciples, and looking up upon Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and saw them following, and said unto them, What seek ye? They said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interpreted, Master, where dwellest thou? He said unto them, Come and see. They came and saw where he dwelt, and abode with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two which had John speak and followed him, was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother, Simon, and said unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas, which is in the interpretation meaning a stone. This is the gospel of Christ. Two outstanding characters 
And our theme is to share the glory. He was always prepared and grew to take the second place. Again and again, he is identified as Simon Peter's brother. It is said that he lived under the shadow of Peter. People might not know who Andrew was, but everyone knew who Peter was. Oh, 